That's big. <laughs> this is what we do for our folks out in Austin. Only on the Adventure Bro Show. You won't find content like this anywhere else. God damn. Ew, you got the vid. <laughs> you got the vid too, you dog. It's actually really good. Way better than I thought. I'm gonna give a shout out to Dante and uh, Venture Bros for the delivery here. Yeah, more people need to eat up. Rattlesnake, I guess. Yo, what's up, people? Adventure Bro number two here with a quick adventure for you. My buddy just called me. His name's Keith. Shout out, Keith. He has a rattlesnake in the back of his yard. You can check that picture out right there to see that. So I'm on my way over there. We're going to see if we can harvest this thing. I don't want to call it killing it because we're actually going to eat it. And, you know, when we get it, I'll show you how we clean it how we're gonna prep this, how we're gonna cook it. And uh, I'm gonna take it over to my realtor so he can taste some rattlesnake. He's an awesome city boy and I'll I'll show him how we do it down in Beaumont for our not rip it. Stay tuned for this Adventure Bro Show. All right, y'all. So we've made it back. We actually have the snake here. It is a rattlesnake and I'll just tell you a real quick story. So uh, if you know us really well and you're pretty close with us, you might know that we, uh, we lost our grandfather a few months ago. And uh, he used to have this rattlesnake hat, a cowboy hat. He was a very big cowboy. He had horses, cattle, dogs. He had everything, ducks, uh, chickens. And he's from Louisiana, um, but moved to, to Beaumont, Texas. So he had this i tell you this, this long story because he had this rattlesnake hat that he uh, brought out of his closet one day. So in honor of him, I'm going to actually harvest this rattlesnake and, um, you know, we're going to take this and eat it. So stay tuned for that portion of this video. But here's this snake. And again, the head is removed, so we're not too worried about it. It might still move on us a little bit. but. This is a beautiful, beautiful rattlesnake right here. And there's that rattle, that famous rattle right there. Why don't we flip this thing over and go ahead and skin it. Now this is my first time ever doing this, so if I'm doing this wrong, people in the comment section, please let me know how to do this correctly, but it's a snake. I watched one video, I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out. Now here you can see where I whacked it the first time, and then I took that head off right there. So. That meat might not be salvageable, but we'll get everything else after this point here. And again, we're gonna start down here on this end and finish up here at this rattle. Now there's, the way you count this rattle, and I just found this out today, is you count the notches that this rattle has. So this is a set, a rattle set, and it has seven, six or seven rattles one, so one two three four five six and i don't know if you count that last one but that's six or seven rattles as it's tenting up on me again i'm trying to get this cleaned put it on ice it wants to pee a little bit but let's uh let's get started make sure to like comment and subscribe to the youtube channel find us on facebook at adventure bro show Find us on Instagram at Adventure Grow Show. And again, do all the things. We appreciate you. You won't find content like this anywhere else. And here we go. I'm going to try and not get blood on my apartment floor. And we've got some surprises coming for you for the Adventure Grow Show. Uh, as I'm sure you might know, but I've been searching for a house. And we won't be in an apartment for much longer. I'm gonna take this, let's see if I can. It wants to fight me. Here we go.
And that's why it's so important to remove that head. Some people say bury it. Well, we didn't want to bury it because my friend had dogs and those dogs would have probably ate or dug it up. And again, that venom is still sitting in that mouth. So I chunked it over the fence and you know, now it's up for a coyote or a buzzard or something to come and get that head. Almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. This makes one clean rattlesnake. You can take the man out of the country, but you can never take the country out of the man. So we're gonna cut this thing up. Got a few broken ribs from when I was taking that hide off, but other than that, I think I did a pretty decent job. First time cleaning a rattlesnake. In the comment section, let me know what you think. Is this a good job cleaning this rattlesnake or? Should I kill another one? Harvest another one and uh, try it again. So I just took a picture of that, sent it to my family. Like I said, in honor of Papa, our grandpa we lost a few months ago. We love you. We know that you're always here for us um, and appreciate it. 
If you could, just like this, subscribe to the channel if you really want to see a lot more content like this. And as you just saw, it's more than just fishing. You won't find content like this anywhere else. Stay tuned on the Adventure Bro Show. Peace. Um, we are on our way to cook this snake while my camera shakes like crazy. So, the person that I'm cooking my, this snake with is actually a good friend of mine. And uh, he's helping me out with a really, really exciting announcement. So, in honor of cooking this snake, we're actually going to celebrate um, a really big win that this guy has brought to me in my life. Um, that will probably be showcased here on the channel eventually, uh, along with a bunch of other things. But uh, this guy is my realtor. We play college football together, and he's a good friend of mine, Chris Luca. So how to celebrate when you're an adventure bro, a big win with your realtor, you cook him some snake. So we'll see how this goes. Stay tuned and check this out. All right, like I promised, we're here with my realtor, my good friend, Chris Luca. What's up, everyone? Thanks for joining us. We're going to cook us up some rattlesnake. It was my idea. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. Yeah, looking forward to it. Let's get it. Yeah, if you can't tell. Try and guess if he was a good kid or a bad kid. Look at that That's... glow up. Look at that glow up. But well, we're here. We're going to get started, and uh, we've got two base seasonings that we're going to do. We're going to pan sear it or fry it or something. Oh, actually, we're going to air fry it, right? Uh, one option is the air fryer, yes. And then the next, we're going to try to fry it. Yep. Fry it. fry it in some batter and all that stuff. But this is our base, old base seasoning and Tony's. We've got that labeled. Not my dad, but my dad's name is Tony. Oh. So stay tuned. Who's and Tony? Tony's? Tony Satchers, you never. It was at this moment that he knew. He <laughs> dumb. Wow, see, look, this, when you, <laughs> when you got your, your folks from uh, Austin, uh, uh, okay. the YT people from Austin, they don't really put season on their food, so we're gonna show them how things really taste my seasoning out here. I got, I got seasonings for days, you know? Look at that. Look at the seasoning. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have some Cajun season in your life. I know. So we're gonna show them how we do it. Stay tuned. I don't know if I gave you all those details just yet, but dripping springs is where. You sure you put enough seasoning on there? There's more if you need to put more on it. I just feel like that's He's just doing it for the camera. There, he doesn't actually season his food. I feel like I feel like that's not that much, but okay. All right, let me show you all a quick trick. So. Luca was asking why I needed wood, but if you're if you don't want to put water in your oil, potentially causing a grease fire, to see if it pops, what you do is take a piece of wood. I usually like to use a little stick or something, and you put it in there and see. Okay, it's starting to boil, so that means it's ready to go. It's hot and ready, and I'll keep that on the side for when we need to flip it. Mm. Mm. And when we're not having fun and doing adventures, see my brother all the time, you see me sometimes, we're working. Just like Luca is right here. He works for Google. He's a realtor. We are hustlers in every sense of the word. Trying. Trying. Trying to get that what? Trying to get that money. Hey, you gotta make it. This will fry fast and we'll, uh, we'll make sure we don't burn anything. I think I'll leave the burning up to up to Mr. Luca there. Do we uh what do I put it in for an air fryer? Wait, what'd you ask? What do I put it in for You don't already know? I thought this was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never cooked a uh, snake. snake in my mouth. Boom! Is that cooked on one? Yeah, that's good. For sure. 
like that. He gone. Damn, he brought out the sauces. That's too much sauce. Look, don't get lost in the sauce. All right, so explain these sauces we got. So we have- you gotta have a, the spicy ketchup. Yes, nice spicy ketchup, boom. We have a Wendy's barbecue sauce, boom. Um, then we have a Cajun McDonald's sauce, boom. And then we have a Whataburger creamy pepper, and of course the OG Chick-fil-A sauce. If you don't have this in your household, go to White Man's Target and get it today. Okay. We're eating, we're surviving off the land, no forest knives, no such thing. Okay. Good bone. There's a significant bones. Mm-hmm. It's a snake. It's not a shark. This is interesting, I'll say the least. Yeah, um, so what I'm what I'm feeling here is um, stringy. I can't even pick up a bone. <laughs> the thing is, it's, it's actually pretty good. It tastes really good. Yeah. The meat is stringy. It's hard to get off the bone. The bones are so small that you don't. Okay. All right. Mmm. It's good. It tastes good. Yeah. Let me know if you have any rattlesnake. So you'll start to see, I'm going to post a video of the tanning process. It's like a two week process. And right now it's just sitting in this tanning solution comprised of glycerin, rubbing alcohol. Mm. The key is you got to bite underneath the bone and slide it off. Be careful not to bite the bone. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's the air fry. So, the air fry, I want to say, came off easier than mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But I think I like the fried, the taste of the fried meat. Do you think it could be the batter and everything that else, everything else that's that. in it? Look at that. Was All right. that one? No, I got you. I got a whole thing here. What about, what are, you know what? Can we, can we open that one of those? Damn. Oh, my God. Wow. We're going to see. See what he's talking about. Oh yeah, that slide. Look at that. Look how that just slides off the bone like oh. that. Oh wow. Oh. Okay. Making these noises it's like he's a caveman. Put in a little bit of ketchup. Not bad. I mean, if I needed to survive, Bro, I'm a, this is a good beep. meal. Yeah. It's almost like you know how ribs are really good meat. Just tender. But a snake is like all ribs. Slither off the bone ribs. See, part of me thinks like, is there? Like, should I be worried about some like snake? Um, disease or like nope no taste. snake disease so the only way that you could get sick from this is if you had venom running down the meat so if i didn't dispose of the head properly you did right i did okay all right nope, i nope. severed it and got the venom out of the way or if your intestines and things like that weren't cleaned out properly. And as you saw in the video, it's pretty simple to clean. I, I didn't burst any, any gallbladder or anything like that. Just pulled them right out and they went directly into a cooler. So we're gonna be good. Now, if you see me later in this video and I'm throwing up, then you might need to call someone. But 
So rattlesnakes are actually very dangerous. So if you do see a rattlesnake, please do not try to like capture it to eat it. Probably not the best approach. Call your exterminator. Call a local nature mm -hmm. expert. I'm no expert. I actually called one of my friends. Um, I think his Instagram is at Texas Naturalist. I'll actually get the correct one and put it down in the, uh, on, on the bottom of the video. And he's super educated, very, very well educated on all species. And he's constantly learning about new ones and just adding to his, what I like to call, Pokedex. Um, oh, like I, Pokemon. Like exactly. Like Pokemon. Uh, so I called him or messaged him first. Just ate all that off the bone. So yeah. To see if he was actually in the Central Texas area. But he's in Houston. So if you're in Houston, reach out to that guy. He'll either... Show you how that's a good dude that's gonna have a lot um he'll either show you how to safely remove it come and safely remove it for 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 you or how to harvest it and that's exactly what we did here we harvested this one um i know how to kill things so there's these straps yep they're like tender loins like mm -hmm. loins over there. you want to get you one of those it smells good as shit there Curtis! What's up, dude? What's good? You want, want to try use some, some, some snake? Some I don't know Curtis if we have any. Oh, dude. we got some pieces right here. Try this right here. This is rattlesnake. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us what you think. I will. There's bones in it, so you got like. You got a. Um, that was really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's surprising. Um, snake, snake. Snakey, snake. Reviewed by three. Approved by three. Mm hmm. Reviewed by Curtis. Approved by Curtis. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate all the support that we've gotten thus far. We're on a really strong wave to get to 10K. At 10K, we've got some big things planned. So please get us there. Share this with your Facebook friends, with your Instagram people, with your YouTube communities. And Hit stay the tuned. Subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, baby. Appreciate you. Adventure Bro number two, out.